add these keywords just by pasting it from over there. I'll just paste that in. Uh, I also believe MSN has a 100 keyword limit per order. Um, and I'll show you what they say. There you go, 200, 200 keywords, yeah. sorry. So what we do is we'll just, you know, just take off the bottom half. Um, what would I would actually do, see this would probably fall, tattoo design. That's one of our biggest terms. Um, so you definitely don't want to get rid of that. What I would do then in this situation is go back to your original keyword research, find out which keywords are bringing in the most traffic, and then sort them from highest to lowest, and then put those in. It takes a little bit of work, but it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. So what I'll actually do is I'll go from the top down, since you know we know that tattoo is probably going to be one of our bigger terms. Let's see how many. Is that 50? So this isn't the most scientific way to eliminate keywords, but... It'll do for now. And this is taking some time. I've seen this happen from time to time with MSN. Again, very cumbersome way to do things, um, going through the interface and doing things like that. So we'll just wait till this is done. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. And what we'll do is we'll just click continue here. Again, MSN is taking its time. Okay. And so here we go. This is where the fun starts. Let's just say we want to bid. Um, you have one or more high bids. Okay. Yeah. So it's telling us <laughs> we should bid this much for this keyword. Well, yeah. they want this in the first position, so we pay the most for each click. Exactly. Naturally. So so what we're going to do is we're going to go with the rule of thumb, apply to all keywords. Looks like the total clicks didn't drop at all. And we're going to be um, average position of 1.54 for all these terms, which is pretty good. Um, some of the other terms you might want to go a little higher, depending on, you know, this is all testing. This is where testing comes in very um, handy. Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to do set incremental pricing for location, days, times, plus age, and gender. Locations we're not going to target, days we're not going to target, hours we're not going to target, but we are going to target male, female, and age group um, from the spreadsheet that we had earlier. I believe it was 18 to 24 females, 39 to 61 ratio. Now let's go back in here. We can do 40, 60. 18 to 25, I want to do at least probably about 70%, 30% here. Actually, you know what? Let's do 20% here, and we'll do 10% there. Look good to you, Larry? Looks perfect. All right, so it looks like our monthly budget is 370 bucks. I think it's going to be more than that because a lot of our main keywords aren't in here since we deleted them mm -hmm. in the last screen. Oh, there's two pages. Sorry, my mistake. Again, like I said, I never use this interface. It looks like there's a little bit more competition in MSN than, than Yahoo and Google. Yeah. see people bidding a little bit higher. And the reason for that is a lot of people are starting to get into MSN now because they know it's kind of like the hidden gold mine right now. Everyone is, is trying to jump into it because it's bringing a lot of people revenue because mm -hmm. there's not as many advertisers in MSN as there are in AdWords. And like we mentioned before, there's a lot more buyers, and the fact that you could target demographics is really key. Exactly. And... um. I'm just going to do it over budget spend because that's what I usually like to do because I want to get as many as I can. So we click Submit Order. And it's being processed. So this can take some time. It's going um, to take a couple days. But you'll see your ads up and they'll be running. And that's how you do your MSN advertising. There's a lot of other secrets and other things to do in MSN that a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, same with uh, actually Yahoo, and same with Google. Um, we're just touching the bases here. There's, yeah. there's tons really, and tons of stuff you can do. We really just brush the surface on this stuff. Exactly, and um, you know we didn't even get into the campaign settings. You know, talk about contextual advertising, talking about how you can actually add your conversion code to you know CPA offers, um, thank you pages. Um, they actually allow that. A lot of them on ClickBank allow that. 
So there's a lot of things that we're not touching right now. Positioning, um, how to position your ads. Sometimes number one is not the best. Sometimes number four is the best, or sometimes number five is the best. Sometimes number three is the best. And you know we're not even touching all this stuff. Um, that takes a lot of testing. Yeah, there's also a dynamic tag in Google that allows you to place a keyword into your um, into your URL, and that will tell you exactly what keyword was play was typed in when the search was done and and when they actually hit your page. So you'll know exactly what was typed in, and that information is pretty priceless as well. Exactly. And we'll go on into that in uh, in later videos and. Mm -hmm and within uh, a short amount of time. Yeah, so, you know, um, we look forward to speaking to you next time, and in the next video, we'll go into the specifics of how to manage your campaigns, have a little bit more sophisticated techniques on managing campaigns like a pro, and you'll see exactly how we do it, and we'll show you how we automate a lot of this process, too. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, we'll see you next time. Take care. All right.